So this section is all about persisting our CRUD application on our client side so that when we do make changes we persist them back to our database. Now if we take a look at what we're currently doing inside our app.tsx folder we have our use effect hook using Axios directly. Now this works just fine but it's much better to separate our API calls from our components and what we'll do is we'll create a new folder inside our app folder and we'll call this one API and inside this folder we'll create a new file and we'll call this one agent.ts and what we'll do is we'll import Axios from Axios and in this single file is where we'll define all of our API calls. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll set an Axios default for our base URL for our API. So what we can do is say axios.defaults.base URL and we'll set this equal to HTTP localhost colon 5000 forward slash and then API. And every API request now will use this particular base URL and then we just need to add the root path with our Axios requests. What we'll also do is store our request in a constant. So we'll say const response body equals and we'll say the response is a type of Axios response and we'll set this to the response.data and then what we'll do is we'll create a requests object and inside here we'll just create some reusable requests from Axios just the common ones that we're going to be using so we're going to need a get request and our get request will pass a URL which is going to be a string and when we use this particular method, what we're going to do is say axios.get, we'll pass in the URL and in the len statement we'll pass in the response body. And we'll do the same for post requests, we'll say URL and string and we'll say axios.post and the post actually needs a body as well and we'll say the body is just an object and in our Axios post we'll post the URL and the body and in the len we'll pass in the response body we'll also do the same for the put method once again just type in URL as a type of string and this also will need something going in the body of this request because put we use to edit a resource in our API and we'll say axios.put and then the URL and the body and we'll say dot len and pass in the response body and finally we'll add the same again for our delete methods and once again this will take a URL and this doesn't need anything sent up in the body and we'll just say axios dot delete pass in the URL and then say len the response body and what we'll then also do inside this same file is we'll create a constant for our activities feature and all of our activities requests are going to go inside an activities object so we'll say const activities and we'll add our requests for our API inside here so one of them is a list that takes no parameters and what we'll say is requests.get and then we'll just pass in the forward slash activities and this will be the request we use to go and get a list of activities from our API and we'll also have one for details and the details is going to take the ID of the activity and we'll say requests.get 
and this time we'll use a back tick so we can access the activity ID and we'll say forward slash activities forward slash and then dollar ID and then we'll do the same for create this time we'll pass in the activity that we're going to be sending up which is going to be of type I activity and we'll say requests dot post and that should be requests and in this one we'll just say forward slash activities and we'll pass in the activity then we're going to need to add one for update and again this is going to take an activity as well of type I activity and we'll say requests dot put and we'll say forward slash activities forward slash dollar and this time we need to pass in the activity ID as our root parameter here and also pass up the activity and finally we'll just create one for delete as well and this is going to take the ID of the activity which is a string and we'll say requests dot delete or del in this case and back ticks and forward slash activities forward slash dollar and ID so pretty straightforward stuff this is going to be all of our requests for our CRUD application as we stand at the moment and obviously we'll build this up over time to accommodate other things that our API is going to do for us and what we also want to do in here is we just want to export defaults and we'll pass in our activities objects so that we have access to this in our components so we're just kind of setting things up here so that we can make use of these requests in our components and what we'll do is we'll go through and make use of these for each part of our application and we'll take a look at that next